Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, these are nice cards. <laughs> okay, so you've got the empathy card over here. So you're getting some good news over here. There might even be some news from an old friend or somebody that's very, very faithful for you. They're giving you pearls of wisdom over you here. You can see this bird bringing in this uh, gemstone or this pearl and, you know, this is advice coming in for you. This person really feels for you because you've got that moon sitting in uh, Pisces over there. So they're very empathetic to your situation and they could be giving you some really good advice. You're feeling very, very restless as well. You're your mind is very, very active. You've got Mercury sitting in um, uh, Aries over here. So, you know, you are, uh, you know, you may be working on business or projects and, you know, you've got some really good ideas uh, coming in over there, but you're feeling very, very restless as well. And you've got the detachment card. So you're trying to get over a situation that was very difficult. You've gone through an emotional turmoil over here. You can see this man's head in the middle of the water of the river over here. And you're trying to detach from that particular situation and heal from it. Now, going um, in the past, you've got the defense card over here. So you've had to really defend yourself. There was a lot of drama. There was a lot of conflict. You've got a lot of swords on this card. You can see these people, uh, you know, there's a lot of um, conflict going on over here. They're going to war, really. You've got Mars sitting in Taurus. Now, Mars in Taurus is not really a good sign because Taurus is ruled by Venus. And there was somebody that really opposed you and they were very, very aggressive. So that's the energy you were dealing with. And you've got the clarity card over here. So a lot of insights have come and it looks like you've left an old situation that was quite established. You may have moved home and walked away from it so it seems like you've taken your things or your family or whatever was valuable to you and you seem to have moved on uh, because it's cancer it's something to do with the home life it was an emotional turmoil and maybe it was a very restrictive situation but it seems like you have left that situation there might have been a lot of problems within that situation a lot of fighting that went on there might even have been some legal battle that you had to sort out uh, before leaving now, um, going to the future, you've got Mercury sitting in Cancer, so I need to use your intuition. So, you know, thinking uh, the moon is about insight and getting a lot of ideas coming in, a lot of spiritual messages, so a lot of intuition, and you need to tap into that. That's very important. And it looks like fortune is coming your way. You've got sun sitting in Leo, so a lot of, um, you know, personal uh, growth and a lot of... Uh, Renown coming in over here, fame coming in with this fortune card, and it looks like it's going to bring in the money as well uh, with Sun in Leo. So you're going to be, you know, quite well known soon, and uh, you need to use your intuition to get on top of whatever situation. Like I said, there's a really good friend coming, coming to give you advice, somebody that you can rely on. Uh, so make sure that, you know, you listen to this advice and uh, use it in your life uh, in order for you to move forward. Now, I'm going to be using the TV Tarot uh, series, and this tarot deck is very unusual because it looks at all the old TV series that used to be around, uh, and I've really enjoyed using it. I've put it in the description box, so please have a look. So let's see what it's got to say. Okay, so the first card, oops, sorry, the first card, um, this is the Justice card, and it is crossed by the Hangman. But at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Swords. So I haven't looked at that first, so let's look at the Ten of uh, Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, so it looks like you were involved in a really difficult situation. There was a lot of conflict. Uh, there was a lot of betrayal. Uh, but that is now finished and done with. And you are now moving on. You can see that spaceship, which is the Star Trek, uh, you know, uh, spaceship. Um, it's probably the Enterprise or Voyager uh, flying away, flying away from that difficult situation and it looks like you know whatever's happened it's finished and done with uh you know uh there's a part of you that died with that particular situation you know and a new uh something new will emerge uh it affected your stability there's a little bit of a house in the in the distance over there but whatever happened uh, affected you quite a bit and uh it's now finished and done with and it's now time to walk away or fly away from that situation and move on 
and what's happening with you you've got that justice card coming in and it's crossed by the hanged man so with the justice card you're dealing with some kind of legal situation or some kind of decision that will um, you know come through uh, you maybe you're waiting for news uh, maybe there's also balance being restored back into your life as well with that justice card and the hangman is about insight so you're getting a lot of ideas and you know um, things are coming to light uh, things are coming, clarity is coming for you. There's a lot of tools that are there. So, you know, um, maybe a lot of insights coming from all different directions because there's a lot of sharp tools over there. They all look like knives. So there's some, you know, a lot of information coming to you and a lot of clarity coming. You're waiting for something to happen. And also with the hangman, it's about making that sacrifice, uh, giving up something that was precious to you uh, in order for you to move on. Now, in the past, it looks like you've got the Six of Cups over here, so you may have bumped into somebody uh, from the past. Uh, there could have been an offer that came in. This could have been an, an emotional offer. But this could also have been a work offer that came in or even an, an offer to study. Um, you might also be revisiting the past a little bit, uh, maybe you know, going through what had happened to you in the past. You're certainly looking at those four cups. Maybe you did have happiness in the past and you're remembering, uh, you know, the good old days, really. Uh, but things have changed because things have, you know, moved on quite a bit. You've got that ten of swords. So you've had to, you know, give up quite a bit, um, you know, to... Um, you've had to give up a lot of that past um, and a lot of emotions had to be given up as well to move on. So in the last three months, you've got the Hierophant card over here. So this is either getting some good advice or even giving some good advice. Uh, and maybe this is also throwing out all those traditional ideas that you used to have about the past. Maybe you were pretty naive during the past. And, you know, you're now emerging with a new philosophy in life with this Hierophant. This is the card that uh, rules Taurus. Uh, so, you know, new ideas, new insights, and also very, being very, very spiritual as well. And this is what's been happening for you in the last three months. And maybe you're getting a lot of dreams and visions as well that is bringing a lot of information to you as well. You've also been looking at your finances quite carefully and maybe, uh, you know, been, maybe you could have been even getting some financial advice as well, uh, but you're sorting through your finances as well. You've got the temperance card over here, so this is trying to heal from that difficult situation. You're definitely trying to heal from that ten of swords, um, and uh, this is like using all that you have learned, blending ideas, and, uh, you know, healing, finding a new purpose in life as well. So going into the future, you've got that um, a queen of rods over here. So this is taking control of that situation and being in charge. On the other hand, you could be dealing with a fire sign person who, uh, you know, could have been uh, a bit of a bully or somebody that um, caused you all the grief that you went through. So uh, this is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius uh, energy that is coming through. With that um, a Queen of Rods, it's also talking about using your intuition to, to do things, but also taking control of that situation. There could also be travel as well in the cards as well. And, you know, if you're on the work front, this could be uh, you being in a position of authority or position of leadership as well. Now, there's some news coming in for you, an offer coming in for you. You've got the... Um, page of cups over here uh, there's a lot of communication that you're going to be involved in you're going to be very focused on your work there could be some learning opportunity that comes in as well but this is being in charge and getting a lot of communication um, and being you know very very happy uh, with it or with this um, page of uh, cups is also maybe learning as I said so something new coming in maybe some source of study but starting something brand new getting new insights now, you've got the strength card over there, so you are dealing with difficult people, but you're managing to sort through things. So things are still a bit cloudy for you. Uh, you know, you've got the moon over there. Still, things have not been quite revealed, but you're managing to sort through all these difficult people and tame the beast, really. There's uh, an offer that you're expecting. You've got that four of cups over here, so you're waiting for something brand new to come in over here. It might involve learning because you've got a lot of books on that bookshelf. Uh, you're a bit dissatisfied with where you were and you are waiting for something. So this is in your hopes and fears. You're waiting for something new to come in, a new cup to come in uh, because you want to move away from this difficult situation. 
So going into the future, you've got the Magician, you've got the Two of uh, Rods and the Two of Pentacles. So decision time coming up for you. Now you've got the Magician over here, and this is such an excellent card to have because it means that whatever ideas you have in your head, you're going to be bringing it out. In a state of manifestation, you do need to be very, very positive because what you think comes, um, you may not even realize it, but you will be manifesting it. It will it'll suddenly emerge uh, you know, as if by magic. You're taking all your thoughts and you're bringing it into reality here with this magician card. And there's a lot of communication. You're going to be very, very busy soon. Uh, and, you know, this is ruled by Mercury. So maybe there's even travel that's involved. But you're bringing in the money uh, and, you know, in a new emotional state with that magician card. <coughs> You've got the two of rods over here. So it looks like there's a new... Uh, offer a new enterprise that you want to do like i said it might involve travel over here but you're leaving the past behind leaving an old situation in which you were stuck and you're going to be moving forward you're taking your uh, uh rod with a flag on it flags usually talk about you know messages coming in communication coming in there's a spaceship coming in over there to rescue you from it and there might be some travel so it looks like um you know you're going to be moving off from this and you're making plans for the future here and there you are, uh, you know, there might be two job opportunities, even with that two of rods, you know, two enterprises, but there might be two offers that come in and you have to weigh your pros and cons, weigh the, uh, you know, the situation, decide which one is better suited for you, which one will bring in the money and also getting your balance back. You also need to do some kind of financial review. Uh, you might be juggling funds at this particular moment, but it looks like, you know, you're moving in a positive direction positive direction with that two of rods the energy comes in for you to be able to do the work with that two of pentacles you know you're getting your balance even though he's got so many things in hands maybe you're very busy multitasking and even with that magician busy multitasking and on uh, at the same time you know this new offer comes in or this new project comes in that you have to do so you know you're going to be very very busy and no time to sit and get depressed about things because you're going to be working pretty hard um, you know and you're going to be manifesting at this particular moment and you've got the strength to do it so if you've got any illnesses this is recovering from any kind of illnesses stress related and getting on top of things and with that queen of wands energy she's got that wand in her hand so you are taking control of the situation and you know you're dealing with this new project like i said it might involve a lot of travel or even international communication and you're on top of things there so very very positive read coming out of a difficult situation things may be a bit uh, you know at a standstill right now and you are waiting for something legal to come in something official to come in and trying to get your balance back again you are sorting through your emotions he's pouring water from one jug to the other so you're getting your emotions balanced and in check uh, and things are starting to sort out now you know even with the justice card it could be talking about divine justice so maybe the people that betrayed you or gave you a hard time will be getting theirs as well um, so uh, you know just relax and go with the flow really um, and you know stand up for your ground because it looks like there are offers coming in even with this uh, page of cups coming uh, you know in um, what sh what's going on with you so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot and let's see what's going on. So the Empress card is saying lavish, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. So it looks like abundance is coming in for you. You're going to be manifesting with this particular card and you're going to draw these things to you. The Empress card is your card. You will be communicating a lot. There's the three there that usually is talking about, you know, dealing with a broad audience. But that's going to be the thing that attracts people to you and attracts abundance to you. You've got the five of air over here, so an unwise choice. Learn from what, learn what you can from this uh, situation and renew, um, review everybody's motives. So watch out for some deception still going on around you. With the five of air, you're still dealing with some kind of legal situation. Usually, you know, with the five of air, maybe you know whatever legal uh, decision is pending may not really go in your favor with that five of air because the other person is being very, very manipulative. Um, and trying to win in that situation and using a lot of deception as well. So be aware of that. That could well be the case, um, you know, and um, 
you might need to change tactics as well in dealing with that particular situation. You certainly are very stressed out. You've got the expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecy and sleepless nights. So you are very stressed out about whatever this decision is or whatever is going on on the legal front, whatever official news you're getting, or even dealing with this very deceptive person. They have caused a lot of drama and trauma, and maybe you're scared that it's going to happen again because you're expecting the worst. Now, this is just worrying all the time, and you need to relax and stop worrying because it looks like, you know, whatever you're building, Building or whatever you're doing is going to produce a lot of good results and you do have the strength and you will be able to conquer it. Uh, the truth will come to light. Uh, you know, even though there's that moon that's a bit uh, cloudy there, it looks like, you know, you will be able to sort through the situation and new things will emerge. You will be really busy and you won't even have time to sit and think about things. So you are moving off with that, you know, that um, spaceship really moving away from a very difficult situation, leaving behind uh, the old and moving on. And the Wheel of Fortune has come in for you. It looks like you're mopping away all the you know, you felt really broken up uh, by whatever that situation was that you dealt with, that Ten of Swords. The Ten, uh, the wheel below it is also talking about the end of that situation. Uh, and, you know, there's, this person's got a mop and they're cleaning up the mess. So it looks like the universe is cleaning up all that uh, problems that you went uh, through. And, you know, you have to walk away. You have to make the decision to walk away from that situation and move on uh, uh, so that you can invite in the new, especially with this magician card. It's giving you the opportunity to start manifesting everything for yourself and everything that you wanted. And what you want to focus on is going to become a reality in your life very, very soon. And give you a lot of choice and a lot of options because you've got two twos here. So this is the two of rods and the two of pentacles. So a lot of choice and option coming for you and decisions that you will need to make very, very soon. But definitely giving you that power back in your hand. So I hope that this reading has resonated and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.